is Mark Lobo. Please welcome Mark Lobo. This is a portrait of me, a soft portrait from a couple of years ago. I was pretty depressed, miserable, working in the dead end job. Didn't know what I was going to do with my life. Um, but I knew that I wanted to be creative. I knew I needed direction and I found that in photography. I uh, started shooting a range of styles, my dog especially. Um, best model ever, uh, very obedient. Uh, I also started shooting a lot of things in my bedroom, uh, set up a little studio and uh, focused on things that had kind of an unpredictable um, result. Um, you know, set up some smoke, or that was actually in a walk uh, in my bedroom, um, and played with light and really kind of got a feeling for the way uh, light worked. And um, when I went traveling in 2006, um, Subconsciously, so kind of realized that I was actually uh, taking a lot of photos um, of clouds, and I think um, living in Brisbane, where the weather is, you know, pretty consistently good, um, it's something that's really developed in my style of photography, and it's something that I uh, tend to incorporate a lot. Um, I started uh, shooting a lot of portraits um, and fashion work professionally when I first started. Um, and uh, this was for Toscana Bridal, um, which was in a range of magazines, um, Australia and Queensland wide. Um, and that kind of defined what I wanted to do. It was, it was um, a defining moment, and mainly with confidence, I just told myself, you know, I could actually do this for a living. Um, so I did. Um, I uh, did a competition last year. Uh, I think it was, um, you, everyone was given, uh, I think, half an hour to shoot one model they had never met before in a location they had never seen before, um, and this was the winning shot from that competition. Um, I did a shoot uh, for a hairdresser, and they didn't want me to shoot in the studio, so what I actually ended up doing was rigging together a uh, MacGyver-style uh, backdrop in the studio system, uh, which I brought in and worked in about a 2 by 3 meter space. And, end up getting these shots out of it, um, which I was pretty happy with. Um, but essentially I like to work outdoors, uh, I like to bring my uh, studio lights and everything outside. Uh, that way you, know, you get the unpredictable nature of clouds, uh, you get you know, the blue skies of Brisbane, you get you know, a comfortable uh, subject, uh, happy, you know, and I just love the imagine that can come out of something like this. Uh, I started uh, kind of applying this outdoor technique to uh, weddings. <laughs> And as you can see, you know, you, 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 I, I had no idea I was going to get clouds like that. It was just something that you get there, you see it all the day, and you go, okay, that's what I'm going to do. And then, you know, use it to my advantage. Um, so I started shooting other things like portraits, bands, uh, the occasional CEO, and my project, BNE. &E. Uh, this is what I'm mainly going to talk about today. Uh, this is a self portrait. It was initially called uh, Backyards of Brisbane. Uh, we were, I wanted to look at well, backyards of Brisbane. And uh, I kind of uh, thought, you know, that's an interesting idea, but what I really want to focus on is the people of Brisbane. I want to focus on, you know, the people that inspire me, the people that I know, the people that have been there for me, and who they are as people. And uh, I chose for the first uh, portrait my best mate from high school, Nick Crocker. I uh, shot this outside uh, his home. Uh, it was about to rain, uh, there were cars going by, but we managed to pull it off. Uh, this is Dan and Dylan, brother-sister duo. I just love their music and I thought, you know, we have to capture their music in a photo. Uh, so, uh, we kind of got the silvery, wildberry thing and a bit of action and playful kind of thing going on. Fortunately, uh, or unfortunately, my mower man hadn't come for about four months. So, we shot this. Uh, it was made for a great backdrop. Uh, a lot of nice lush grass and also perfect for Dan to land on. Uh, I didn't hurt myself at all in that previous shot because the grass is about that high. Uh, and yeah, I've kind of started to shoot more inspirations of myself, uh, of my own, uh, such as Ben and Josh from Just Mark. Uh, they are just inspirational guys, you know, they got together as friends to start a web and uh, branding kind of agency and it's really kicked off. This was shot at their space in uh, Substation 4 in Petrie Terrace on the roof there and I just I just love that space. Uh, Eddie Harron who's here tonight, um, another good friend of mine, a uh, very inspirational guy. Uh, I just thought um, the day I first met him, the first thing that stuck in my head and has ever since is 
he's just enthusiastic about everything, no matter what. Um, and I just had to get that out. again outside his home um, in the street. Uh, Morgan and Rachel, um, very cool people. Uh, they're here tonight, I think. Um, and yeah, when my, my photos are up on the wall at Urban Grind, um, which is the coffee shop, I realized that I can't just focus on my inspirations, I have to focus on their inspirations, all the people that I'm shooting, and just really tell a story with, with, with that. Um, oh, slides are in the wrong order. Um, so uh, this is Josh, go back one. Um, and yeah, he, he spoke at uh, Pachacucha 9. Um, he has the ability to create something amazing out of chaos, and his gallery, which this was about like a few weeks ago, his gallery is actually opening tonight, um, and that was it. So yeah, um, this is Morgan and Rachel again. Um, the slides are in the right order, but it's um, repeating themselves. Um, so yeah, Morgan and Rachel chose uh, Tarl uh, from Matt Magazine, uh, another very inspirational guy, you may know him. Uh, I chose to focus not just on him as the founder of Matt, but also, uh, you know, his family and his enthusiasm and optimism for life. And I just love the way his uh, childish grin matches his son Jasper's in that shot. Um, another expression uh, was chosen by um, my friend Nick in one of the first shots. It was Matt Ravage from the Nine Lives Gallery. Um, this was, wasn't actually shot by me holding the camera. It was a shot by a camera in the corner of the room um, as part of a time-lapse video. But it just captured this, this moment where he was just thinking, looking up, the window, and that was it. And uh, these are a bunch of his friends who uh, got together uh, to create Nine Lives Gallery. So I thought, okay, what defines him more is that, you know, making space. Um, so yeah, Matt's going to go on and choose the next person, his next inspiration in the project. Uh, and it's going to be, I think he said today, uh, box vintage. I don't know if you know that. Um, so yeah, this is kind of how the project works. I've chosen six people, they all choose their inspirations, and it's just going to go on for six more, uh, six rounds, which is, plays on the idea of six degrees of separation, and those lines are actual real relationships that have been found within these people so far. That's it.